Hello and welcome to Unix Services Training where today we will be talking more about the cluster administration. In a cluster we cascade multiple number of computers to perform tasks. So in the same way we have presented the PPT as well which says that a computer cluster consists of set of connected computers that work together so that it can perform any task which is being given to the cluster. So we have different types of clusters so if we see the image here this is connected through network so if you see the complete cluster is being designed and it has been connected through the network wires and the machines talk to each other and it is connected via network wire so a cluster bin can be either created with the help of uh, a network or it can also be created uh, without a network by using a serial port as well so the image demonstrates the multiple number of computers which are connected via network wire <coughs> and you can see it has only one single monitor where all the computers are interconnected and it is running on one single machine as a one single machine so this is what it means by cluster so what are the types of clusters which we have so when we are talking about uh, the types of cluster so we have high performance cluster we have high availability cluster and then we have load balancing cluster so what is a high performance cluster so where is a high performance cluster used so high performance as the name itself specifies high performance is used to run high-end programs a mathematical calculations or a graphical environmental programs different types of programs which we have to go ahead and run on high performance so it is mainly used for performance so when we are using it for the perf performance base so we need to also make sure there are certain points which it can be used for so let us make a note of the points which we can make sure it has been used for so when we are talking about the high performance <coughs> point number one is it can be created with a network or serial port connections so either you can connect through you can connect multiple number of computers with the help of network or a serial port connection so this is one of the method where we can create a high performance so what is it used for so majorly it is used for used to run multiple powerful jobs we can say jobs or programs to utilize high CPU power okay and what are the parameters which we need to look into when we are creating it in the form of a network so we need to make sure that the network card the the data communication which is there on the network card the speed of the network card 
what is the speed it is running on whether it is running on 10 bar 100 mbps or 100 bar 1000 mbps network card and the type of cabling technology what we are using the type of switch what we are using so it depends on all these parameters so that is all about uh, high performance computer where it can be cascaded it can be used so how it would be created if we talk about how it would be created so we will create a keyless login in the unix or linux machines we'll we'll create a keyless ssh login that means to say that it will log in without a password and then once we create a keyless login we would go ahead then install a parallel shell so this parallel shell would uh, help us to go ahead and run the programs on our machine that is a cluster okay where it will be utilizing the cpu resource of all the machines so this is one part what we are talking about about high performance cluster same thing when we are talking about uh, the next concept the high availability cluster so in high availability so we are concentrating on zero downtime so the cluster which is being used the resources which is being shared so it will not have any sort of downtime so that's why it is high availability so it is always available that's what it means so it will not have any sort of downtime the resources will always be available maybe when the switching of the server happens from one to another when there is a failure so it may lose some 10 to 15 data packets So we can say that, so let us take an example. So here we have multiple number of machines which are there on the high availability. So when it comes to the part of high availability, it will have zero downtime and it would be transferring the data packets or it may lose 10 to 15 da data packets so how how exactly the high availability can be utilized so we can have one single server in one location and we can have other servers on different location we can ha we can have the servers on different locations where in turn these servers are connected through the network and <coughs> so let us take an example we have server 1 which is there in india and we have server 2 which is there in United States so whenever the server 1 which is there in India goes down so automatically the resources which is being utilized 
from the server which is running in India would switch over to the server 2 which is running in US so that you will not face any downtime so the resources the resources are nothing but the website which you are accessing or if you are doing any sort of banking transaction so you'll not lose those transactions in middle maybe if you have 10 lakh customers who are using the server there may be one or two customers who may have the problems when the switchover happens from India to United States so the server which, are, which is running in India when it goes down due to some power fluctuation so when it switches all the services from India to US so it may lose 10 to 15 data packets and one more question is how do we check whether this specific server is utilizing the resources or, resources or not so the high availability design which has been designed will always be trying to perform a ping to the server which is available for us and once it does not receive the ping response so it considers that the server is down and then automatically it will switch over to server 2 so this is how the failover happens so that's why the high availability is also called as failover cluster so we have different vendors who provide uh, the high availability so majorly we will discuss the high availability so what does red hat calls it as so red hat high availability is called as conga project and we have Veritas and we have VCS Veritas cluster services for Veritas and when it comes to the part of open source we have heartbeat and then we have DRBD So we have Heartbeat DRBD which is used as open source. And Pacemaker. Is another open source tool which we can utilize for open source based high performance clusters and when it comes to the part of uh, load balancing cluster in load balancing cluster so the data traffic has to be distributed amongst ETH 0 and ETH 1 so here we have ETH0 and ETH1 and we will be using network bonding to divide the data network. So presently when we create bond 0 so we have two network card in our machine let's consider we have ETH0 and ETH1 when we are working on round robin method so the data when it comes through the to the network bond and receives onto a different network the data has been distributed amongst ETH0 and ETH1 so 
it flows through the bond and it splits here and then it is divided onto the two network cards whereas in active backup method it only flows through one network so it is it is it only